Hi everyone and welcome back and today we're looking at Scared Ice Island Draculaura. This doll was purchased from Amazon for $17.99 I'm pretty sure a couple weeks ago on pre-order. This is an adult channel for adult collectors and this is the very first beach lineup for Monster High. If you guys have been Monster High fans for like a while you just know that this is inevitable for them. Mm -hmm. They do a beach line and I have a couple of examples next to me. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, to compare her to. I know there are other beach dolls, but I just grabbed my like two favorites that I feel like they might have pulled in the bow from. But here she is in all her glory. I feel like her face up is not bad. I've been very, very scared about ordering online because, you know, Monster High, you don't do that. Yeah. You do it if you're desperate. And I was desperate because <laughs> I really, really am just, I just love G3 so much. And I feel like I got a really good one. I don't know if it's a really good one, but I got one that's... Passable. She looks great. Uh, and she's... Uh, put on a shelf. Yeah, and she's got sunglasses. So uh, even if she was ugly, I'd put sunglasses on her. <laughs> uh, let's just get into the packaging. Here she is. I love the font every look single time. Glasses. Yeah, look how beautiful she is. I love that they're giving Dracula accessories that don't shield her from the sun at all. Me too. <laughs> they're like, uh... Her hat, it's gonna have cutouts on it. Lace parasol with holes. Got it. it. Yep. And then here she is on the back with the rest of the Boo Crew. She's so cute. Um, it's very obvious that her hair is meant to be down, I feel like, in the back. And she has a ponytail here. And her doll, her artwork has a lot of pink in it. It's like majority black. There's like no pink in this. So I don't know if that got in lost translation, but uh, who do you guys like the best so far just from like this? Uh, I will say that Dracula is consistently my fave. But, like, Frankie got me feeling some kind of way because like they look things. so cool. They look so cool. Uh, the Boo Crew is ready for a relaxing getaway on Scared Ice Island. Dracula, Claudine, and Frankie have packed all the trip essentials, including SPF 5000, a hair-raising beach reed, and totally electrified smoothies. That seems like a very random assortment of things. <laughs> Even Heath Burns is bringing the tropical heat with his blazing hair and a fire outfit. This vacation is sure to be filled with surf, sand, and plenty of scary fun ahead. I wonder if this is going to be like an episode. Because just like, what the hell is Heath doing like, here? Maybe, maybe like a two-part, like where the both parts of the, yeah. the block are centered around Scary Dice. Yeah, oh my god, the episodes start in like two days. What? The episodes start in two days. They're getting like, oh. the new episodes start... And I'm like, yes. Mm. I can't wait. The Monster High show is really good. Have we, have we missed any episodes? No. Okay. Look, they've been like, I don't know if it had anything with the writer's strike, but. Mini hiatus. Yeah. Oh, here is her is barcode. Sure yeah, I did. Okay. I just don't know where she's going to be found, you know? Because, like, it just seems like they haven't been stocking the, the budget dolls mm -hmm. anywhere but, like, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or. Walgreens, you know, I'm hoping that like the bigger retailers take them out because that's kind of like shit to me, you know, <laughs> but let's get her out of her box because we need Ula D. I know <laughs> it's pretty bad, but let's get her out of here. Oh, uh, grab Dawn of the Dance. There are definitely like throwbacks in this Draculaura that I saw immediately from like the images that we were originally given. And I cannot wait to dive in. Let's just undo all this stuff. I just don't get why Heath needed the SPF. Give me a cell phone. Son of the devil, why does he need SPF? It doesn't make sense, loves. Okay, okay, okay. For Heath, we did the accessories first. So, Dracula's bag is darling as hell. It's like a a wicker type... Which call me? <laughs> ...material. It's plastic, but it's meant to look like wicker. And it's got this tassel hanging from the front. Here's the back. And it does, like, open, I guess you could say. It's so cute. The bat shape is so amazing. I would say Monster I make this, but 
Y'all have been making so much stuff. Monster High, please don't make this. Please. She comes with her SPF 5000. So cute. Her little tropical drink. With the little bat wings. Her glasses, which I wish were different because we've gotten this glasses mold like in four different dolls. And it's cute, but like I'm over it. You could do something a little bit different. And now let's get into the doll. She's literally got no pink in her hair. Really? Like literally not at all. Hold on, let me get this out of here. There's like a like there's like minuscule stripes in there. But it's predominantly black. Here's her face. She's got yellow eye makeup. Oof. Let me get this out of here, please. And the super dark brows. I love them. She looks so cute. That baby pink lip. Her earrings. They are heart studs with... I did some scalping. Okay. Heart studs with spiderweb, like, sunblasts. They're sunbursts. They're so cute. The hat is that's, everything. Not the vampire having sun themed earrings. Yeah. The the, the hat amazing. Mm -hmm. But we should have gotten a hat with her generation one. Like her generation three like signature doll. Yeah. Which they're remedying now, but please. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. All these back cutouts. I love it so much. And then the bow. The heart. Yes, yeah. it's so cute. Her outfit is a two-piece with a wrap. Like, yeah, a cover-up. Where does it go? Which way does it turn? Oh, there it goes. So that's like the... the oh, it's cute. Hot Topic's like, wow, we gotta make this. We gotta make this for yeah, next year. We have to make this. Really hurry, hurry, hurry. <clears throat> the cover-up is super cute. You can really see her body shape in this. Oh, they these do... Her body go. Yeah, they don't have the rib articulation, unfortunately. So they, this is a true budget line. Yeah. I don't think I mind when that happens. Sometimes it, it depends on like who you're photographing. Sometimes it can be nicer to not have it. Yeah, like the articulation at Rainbow High, the rib is so annoying yeah. because like Lily's just like, <laughs> please stop. But she does have all the other standard Monster High articulation. And her shoes, her shoes are so beautiful. They have a heart-shaped heel that we are very, very, like, that are very reminiscent of a very certain shoe that we all know from Generation 1. Mm -hmm. This heart buckle, though, just eats up that shoe. The only thing that makes that other shoe a little bit better is I hit a peep toe. So yes. it was just covered a little bit, but it's, a, it's like a beach shoe, so it's going to have the peep toe. The peep toe. The I know. Like, the hearts on, like, the leather strap. They're so cute. Okay, so this is Dawn of the Dance. Dracula, and you guys see what I mean? Like the throwback is right here. So cute. I love these shoes, and then they like, and then they like overuse the hell out of them. Mm. I'm like, please stop. But here she is, so beautiful. Let's look at the other beach dolls that I pulled. Well, that we pulled for like inspo. It's like she's got a bat beach bag here. I which one do you like better? I think I like G1. I think I like the G3 one more. Really? This is just very much, so much more beachy to me. You want to know why? Mm. The G3 one reminds me of our sister going to the beach. Mm. <laughs> but, oh, the, these glasses are very similar. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever noticed that. But yes, there are like a lot of throwbacks for the, <coughs> oops, the other generations. But this is just G1. You can tell, like, the cover-ups and stuff. It's not, like, an exact copy, Avi. Mm -hmm. She's definitely a completely different shade of pink than them. Completely. But here they are together. I think she's eating them up. You think she's eating them up? I think so, too, a little bit. If she had pink in her hair? She's, she's got no pink. I wonder if it's, like, from doll to doll. Maybe. Because, like, mine has zero pink in her hair. What fiber do you think it is? This is Saran. Oh. Look how cute she is. Oh, I don't know. I'm a G3 Dracula apologist down. <laughs> Her face is so perfect and beautiful. I don't know. I don't know. Perfect doll is perfect. 
yeah. Well, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.